Family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Drama alert, Casanat fans. Riot Meach was there, really. Groceries, Montgomery ball, Brawl. Excuse me. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Sit down, please. You, stop running. We got good on Almost cuss. School has started back. I don't need none of y'all running around these hallways smelling like funk and butt, okay? I don't want y'all coming from gym smelling like sweaty socks and dirty drawers. So that is why I had to partner up with Scentbird. Even you grown folks, some of you teachers smell like mothballs and coffee. So I don't need y'all stinking around me or anybody, especially if we friends. So again, I partnered with Scentbird this month to help you guys out. So Scentbird is around and it's friends like this month. I got some fashion hope to see all the coffee in this express. Right. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. And welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, yes, you can't get with me unless yes, you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? doing? Welcome to August. Y'all, we are rolling through 2023 like y'all pass hookahs around. <laughs> Real fast. And right. I am gagging. It's like I blink <laughs> and it's a new year. Ooh, well, y'all made it. Shout out to y'all. I'm going to get into it, but before I do, let me shout out my friend, and that is Sarah. <laughs> Bitch. Tara, thank you so much for having my post notifications on on Twitter. You were the first to come in. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and my platforms. That means so much to me, girl. So now I'm taking the time out to support you. So everybody go fuck with my girl Tara. Follow her. Like it up. Whatever the case may be. Show her some love. All right. Hey, bitch. Well, y'all know what that means. It's time to get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea. Because you girls love staying. And some shit. shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Rockstar versus Angel. Now, baby, this is messy. Y'all, who do you folks? Messy, 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 messy. Because I'm just like, I know you fucking lying. The word on the curb is he called her cheating in they all house. Not only that, fucking in they house. And still fucking niggas on the low. Allegedly. So, child, this is what he had to say. Now, I, now y'all, I, I, know, I usually don't read all of this, but I'm like, okay, hold on. He finna be telling some tea because if you caught your girl cheating in y'all house, fucking, and know she still fucking, oh, you finna tell everything. So, first of all, he starts off by saying, y'all know my wife, she's scandalous, whatever the case may be. Woo, 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 gotta, gotta, gotta. He said, okay, I call her cheating in our house. Mind you, at 43 with three baby dead. You've been with me for three and one fifth of a year. <laughs> and I'm like, mm -mm. sir, what did that say? Three years and two months. What did you do? Fucking all of that. The first tea that he built. He said, Miss Thane told him that she was 33 when they first oh. met. And he was like, nah, bitch, nine years ago you was 33. So he said he could have dealt with that, whatever the case may be. Woo, that's nothing. So now this is going to get juicy. He said Miss Thane was fucking around with YK Osiris. Now, mind you, when she was fucking with Okay. YK Osiris, this is the same movie theater she just got caught in fucking now. She told him that she didn't do nothing with YKO, but YKO went around bragging and said he fucked her. And the girl is when he fucked her, he was tweeting. Now, this is the whole oh, thing. This is the boyfriend, is that the husband, boyfriend, baby, daddy, whatever. This is what he's saying. Rockstar, he's saying this. And not only was she fucking on YKO, he goes and he say, baby, she was fucking on Future too, Bitch. I know you're not. That pussy gotta be tied. 
and then he said she had the nerve to bring a Chanel bag back to the house, and not only did she bring it to the house, but she gave it to her friend, bitch. So you out here fucking for pieces just to pass on to your girlfriends. Well, bitch, can I be your sister because... <laughs> I need me a cute little burk and a salt. And the list don't stop there, child. The dick has been dicking. The <laughs> dick been dicking in her. And she's about to be dicked out. So, child, he did spill that she been fucking on Cam Newton. Now, I know he dug off cannon in that bitch. Because, girl, that nigga about, what, seven, two? Damn. Six? Oh, Miss Dang. Damn. She just been smashing a homie. You is Allegedly. Riding. Almighty J even came. Did I get was working on her too. But she said Almighty J came over and stole $30,000 from her. But really, he didn't steal $30,000. She gave that motherfucking nigga $30,000. And when she allegedly got caught for giving him the $30,000, she gonna want to tell the boyfriend that he stole it. And so she wanted him, Rockstar, to go and put his homies on that nigga head. Knowing good damn... So love and hip hop be lit like that. We need to put that on the Patreon list. Y'all don't even watch love and hip hop. But I just told y'all we all every season of everything, baby, we getting into it. I just need to know these folks. So love and hip hop. So y'all need to tell me which seasons we need to be re reacting to on the Patreon. And if you're not in the Patreon, what are you doing? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Let's get into it. I need... Whoever got all this information, <clears throat> DM me right now. Well, you done fucked on this nigga too. Thank you, kid. Yeah, Good. Yeah, I ain't that's know why y'all like gotta be careful who y'all let out with because when these girls get caught and they crazy like this, they'll get y'all niggas off because they want they nigga to believe them. So he goes on and he says, you know what, since all this has been going on, he wants to. What's going on, honey? Hey, something happened? Oh, shit. Hold on, let me pause. Get a DNA test to their child because he don't even know now this is his child. He said, So, how the hell you at 43 years old doing all this cheating? Shouldn't you done this younger? But there's no limit to cheating, baby. I don't care if you're 43, 25, 50, 800. If you gonna cheat, you gonna cheat. That's just what you wanna do. There's no age limit to cheating, baby. Then he finishes off with, I was there. None of them other men were there for you when you was going through all this. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And when I was reading in the uh, thing, I skipped over this. She said she was showing him pictures of a nigga dick that wanted to talk to her. Who dick was that? Hold on. Boom, take it back. He said that her baby daddy's teammate, Anthony Davis, was sending her dick pictures. And so then he was like, that Okay, Gil. That's exactly why we're going. She would show him the dick pictures, but I was sitting here thinking to myself, why the fuck are you comfortable enough to let her show you dick pictures anyway? I, I don't know already what the fuck they think. thinking he was a little sweet, if you ask me. I know the streets was thinking he was sweet too. And maybe that's why he was cheating on her, because maybe he is sweet, and she just like, you know what? I need dick where I can get dick. I don't know, because then you fuck with YK too, and you... I don't know something. I don't know what's really going on here, but something going on that just ain't sitting right in my system. Is this like a, I don't know. Because I'm sorry, ain't no man finna sit there and look at dick pics with his baby mama, girlfriend, whatever, and just think that shit is okay. Just because you love her, you dealing with that. Bitch, I wish you would have fucked with it. Nigga threw it. Ray J said she was fucking on Ray J. He said he mainly dealt with all this stuff because, you know, he was dealing with her through quarantine. I'm like, I'm like, sir, don't, don't blame this shit. <laughs> like, what? I can't, I can't laugh at this man pain. At this point, sir, go with her cousin. <laughs> that, we gonna have to just throw that because I don't know how else to make Put you feel better. But like I said, a lot of us thought he was gay, but if he ain't Man's gay after scared. all of this, bitch, he'll be gay by tomorrow. Already, like, oh. <laughs> because ain't no way your manhood's still man <laughs> She stripped you, baby. I can't lie, y'all. He did read her down. Boops. He read her like a dictionary encyclopedia in the Constitution. Y'all know who read like that? The girls. So, honey, he might as well go and get him a good old sister, baby, because obviously <laughs> he is playing for the wrong team. Y'all don't hear no echo, do you? Well, if it ain't about me, let's eat, eat. okay? Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we got Lil B and Summer Walker. So last week, news broke that Summer Walker and Lil B chat broke up. Now, I didn't get to... <laughs> I sound so like a meal. So Monday, some okay. footage that came out with Meech going into, going into somebody's house. As you can see, 
him and the woman are going in the house. I see it looks to be a bottle of liquor better? from the club. She Did that get better? She go in, whoop, 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 yada, 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 gives you 17 minutes. Boom. You know, I don't know. Whoever sent this in, I would be bashing your ring camera in. Because how the fuck you go? Yeah, whoever sent that in to, to the shade room, we would have had to fight. If that was my neighbor, like, are you fucking serious, bro? Oh, and do that. Mind the business that pay you, baby. This is what me had the nerve to say. Damn, I can't help my cousin bring the bags in the house. We went to the grocery store, man. Now, me, you <laughs> was helping your cousin with the groceries. <laughs> Where were the groceries, sir? No Where groceries. Where were the groceries? In your pants? I Just mean, no groceries Where y'all want to put the stuff down? Go back to the car to get the groceries. Or the groceries that P. Sherman 42 wallet me way. Yeah, it is. You was going to eat some, eat some groceries, but I don't think you was helping her with no groceries. Basically, oh, he did help take the groceries in the house. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And not only that, I feel bad for the girl because, because now, girl, you his cousin. Like, like. Bitch, I'm coming out like, bitch, I ain't no motherfucking cousin, nigga. So then someone come out and say, oh, friends that love me, I appreciate that, but y'all don't have to be no CIA agents for me. Let's just leave it alone and move on. It is just crazy how a nigga will pursue the fuck out of you for two years, make you meet the whole family, want to be around you. Meech definitely took the meat in, and remember, she's the groceries. And your kids all So technically, he did take the groceries in, I'm just saying. All day. And pay bills just to embarrass you to the world. I don't understand men, but I'm gonna give it to God. Girl. <laughs> that nigga meets so far from broke. He, you should have gave He it. was rich before the show. It's God to London. Baby, that's what you should have gave me. You should have gave. Give myself away. <laughs> you just gave yourself so away so he could love you, baby. Because now you done went through London, this new guy, and him. God is, God is tired. <laughs> God was just now trying to grab your hand at the London girl, and you tipped all out. And then she talking about meet the whole family. Miss the family be in on the coats. <laughs> they will smile in your face. Look you dead in your eye and say they love you and watch another bitch walk in the house Real right after shit. you leave. Baby, the family is in on it. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Why you let me meet the family? Bitch, why are you dumb? Why are you stupid? Men will play with your strips. <laughs> 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 Men will take your kids to the fair by them food and everything just to fuck you. He's stupid as hell. I'm, I'm not laughing at your brain, but I'm serious. Men will do all, all that just, just to fuck and leave because they know that your children are your heart. And if they, if they, <laughs> you know how that lady said, if I could just touch. <laughs> if I had just touched the hem of his garment, I could be made whole. And maybe that's what he did, girl. He just said. <laughs> so, you know, a couple of days passed. Meech goes and he posts about his dad or whatever the case may be, like how he misses him and he doesn't feel whole or complete without his dad. And Summer comes out. <laughs> Fuck the family. family and she in the house. says, I miss, my, I miss right. my dad. I miss my <laughs> granny. What goes to the lady and heal that child? <laughs> that childhood trauma? Now, I'm just like, girl, not you over here laughing about somebody's trauma. We all know that you got your trauma too, Miss Danny. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Then you had the audacity to tell somebody, go heal. You ain't healed from your last two men. That's why you're over here trauma bonding with this man because okay. of his trauma. You Talk knew this it. man was young. You know what I'm saying? You knew this man was young and rich. You knew this man was young and rich and had trauma. So if you knew this, then why did you try to pursue something with a young, rich man that had trauma that you knew was going to end up making you have a heartbreak? So there should be nothing that you should say to this man because you picked your heartbreak. And mind you, just for all this, she had just went out with the girls. We had a time last night. You my lip. 
Look, look at my lip. A time was had. Um, was that her? I don't know how this happened to my beautiful brown leg. Uh -uh, I don't need all that booty on my screen, y'all. Uh, yellow mark from here. Ain't gonna be shit because you still gotta go home and reality will set the fuck in. Child, don't tell me you was out there doing cartwheels and splits. <laughs> Just to get his attention. Now, Sama, go heal. Go heal. Maybe we can go on a summer break. <laughs> <laughs> we can skip on in the winter or something. <laughs> summer break is great. So then after she posted that, he come back with me. And I'm like, oh! God damn! And then she responds back with bitch number five. Well, girl, okay. You was Nate. bitch number four. You that one the problem. <laughs> You know what, just stop responding. I hope she figured it out, I hope she let it go. At this point, just go on to get in the studio and give us this album, baby, because. Please, and talk about his that ass. Ain't it, if it ain't about That's me. That's when she make the best albums, y'all. When Summer Walker is hurt, we get the best albums. Let's keep keeping this cake. Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Jenny versus Jennifer. Now, Jennifer, we was all room for you because we fucked with you, baby. You know what I'm saying? But what you did was real fucked up. So, Jamie had went onto his social media, and what he posted on there, he said, They killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? Fake friends, fake love. I took this as some black folk shit, how we say, man, they, they, they killed that dude named Jesus, or they killed that nigga named Jesus, they'll kill you. So, what happened was, some of her people, hello, Caucasian Hollywood friends, the thing she liked to post, and when she liked the post, they started going crazy. This really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by mistake. And I'm just like, nah, bitch, pick one. Did you like it? I don't even know what anti-Semitism mean. This is why I'm telling y'all we need to watch new content. Because all I know is the same thing. Would you rather? Uh, 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 wow. Road pranks, uh, uh, exposing baby daddies and and from from your ex, fucking just the craziest shit in the world. Um, sleeping with your friend, girlfriend. Let's talk about some other stuff. I couldn't even get it all out. Anti-Semitism. I don't know what that means. Against Jews, basically. Okay. Like it or did you not like it? Don't don't. Pick one, bitch. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by this yes, showing up in their feeds. I do not support any forms of anti-Semitism. And I know I switch everything up when it's when it's time for the season. And we not gonna do like my preseason was amazing. Okay. So we about to step into the season. You know what I'm saying? Football season, basketball season, YouTube season, CPM season. You get what I'm saying? Life is great. You know? I really don't tolerate hate of any kind. Now, nowhere in Jamie Post did he make any type of reference to hate. That's us. Leave our conversations with us. If y'all felt left out, that's your fault. And when did Jesus and God become property to the Jews? That right. is what I want to know. I thought God was for everybody. So when did somebody become the gatekeepers of Jesus? I just don't understand it. I mean, it's like you always have to apologize to someone. Gatekeeping Jesus is crazy. Somebody when he is for everybody. I'm yeah, gonna make a shirt that the, says the So it is the podcast, basically, friend. I just told y'all yesterday that we will be doing a podcast every day, me and Honey South. Now probably not today, because we got some shit to handle with each other. But yeah. Jesus is for the streets. He's for everybody. Now you got him going through this bullshit, but that was not his intention. So Jamie had came out with his apology post too as well. So I want to apologize to the Jewish community or anyone that was offended by my post. I know my choice of words have caused offense and I'm sorry. To clarify, I was betrayed by a fake friend and that's what I meant with that. Not anything more. I only have love in my heart for everyone. They tried to play on his words when he said they killed a man named Jesus. He didn't mean they, Jewish, anybody. Neighbor, he just said they, okay. people in general. The people who were there who did it, they killed a nigga named, they killed a dude named Jesus. What make you feel they won't do it to you. That is what he meant. That's how us black folks talk, period. And to be honest, if I was Jamie, I would have made this post right here and then added Miss Jennifer. I'm Angelina, you Jennifer. Uh-uh, not Nikki. Me. Let's keep keeping it. Okay. All right, 
you guys, that's all I have for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, we have Lizzo. Now, this situation to me is kind of heartbreaking because I love Lizzo, and Lizzo is always pro-women. She's it, a yeah. girl's girl. She's always advocating for, you know, the bigger women, and I think that is lovely, so... For this to come out, I think it's like shocking so many people. And that's why I'm on the fence with this because I don't want to jump and say, oh my God, da 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 because <clears throat> you don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? Same way with the Johnny Depp situation with Amber Heard. Everybody was just bashing Johnny. How could he? Just dragging him through the mud and then look what happened. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to <clears throat> tread lightly. Now, I'm not saying don't believe the victims, because that's just not right. Because we don't know that obviously something happened to these people to make them be upset. And us as people, sometimes we can exaggerate stuff and make it more than what it is. Or not tell the whole truth, but tell the truth of the person that did us wrong, but not what we did. You know, so I don't know. So I'm sure everybody already knows. Liz is in the hot seat and um, she's having a lawsuit thought against her for weight shaming. There was sexual harassment and more in the midst of her work area. So the girl are gonna date so this her name. She comes out and she tells everybody, hey please, it's not a time to be uh fat phobic or anything or bring anybody fat else down phobic. that are dealing with this at and, I, and she was talking about all parties because people were now starting to bash Lizzo. And then her creative director came out, Lizzo, and she phobic. said this is the same thing that she experienced while she was working around Lizzo as well. Then shortly after a filmmaker that was working on Lizzo's documentary comes out and said that she went through the same situation. Lizzo was very unkind, arrogant, self-centered, and that's why she pulled out, or whatever the case may be. And I'm just like, where was all these people saying this stuff about her when it happened? But to me, when you look at it, the creative director and the other lady who came out with her as well, um, these are all one-sided opinions. It's not getting Lizzo's side as well. So mind you, remember I said there was some um, sexual harassment claims or whatever the case may be. They brought the old video from when Lizzo, had, I guess, took the people to this adult entertainment place and they do things there. And this is the video they were talking about. It was really, they kissed? She, they can't. Uh, uh it's always something with this. It's after I'm not gonna say what she did, <laughs> but I'm trying to go to the show where you eat the banana out. The Which one is that? This is a banana bar. Well, that's the banana bar. Yeah, you. And they the have the banana, banana in the in yeah, the yeah, yeah. coochie and, and ping pong balls. And you have to go. And... Yes. And that's what to, I want to do. Then you have to eat it. I need my potassium, if you know what I'm saying. All right, too long. You know where you're going. You have a right to say, hey, I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to be here. Woo, woo, woo. You know, days pass. Lizzo didn't say anything. She finally comes out. She speaks. I usually don't step up and say anything about, you know, rumors and things like that. But this is messing with my character and who I am as a person. These sensationalized stories are coming from former workers who were already let go, who have publicly admitted that their behavior on the tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. She goes on and she says, I am an artist and I am very passionate about about what I do. I take my music and my performances serious because at the end of the day, y'all think Lizzo did that shit? I only want to put out the best. And she goes on and she talks about how she's very open about her sexuality and she expresses that and this is that. Woo -woo -woo. I think the banana thing, she's saying, hey, yeah, that was me. But when you are a perfectionist and you are working on your craft and something that's representing you, hell yeah, I'm going to take my shit to heart. And I know me, sometimes when I'm working with my team, I can come up as a bitch, mean as fuck, because at the end of the day, this is my stuff. This me is as well. It's hard. Well, now it's not hard for me to work with people because I've worked with people enough to know what the fuck I'm going to deal with and not deal with. But in the process of that, yeah, I take my shit very seriously. So yeah, I could come real, I can become real nasty um, when you either not taking it as serious as me uh, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, people just, people like to play with your time. People like to play with your money. And people think shit funny. And it ain't. I'm going to show you how to ha-ha, bitch. It's it ain't me. Funny. You can walk away. But I don't have them problems now. Tomorrow, and you're going to be good. But if my shit fails, it's on me. And I know, and, and there is a way to speak to people and make people feel, you know, comfortable and accepted. But when it's pressure and the world is judging you and you're going through this, 
Sometimes you might come off as a little rude or disrespectful, but I'm sure there's times y'all come back and y'all say, girl, I did not mean that. You know, I was stressed out. I was going through it. I'm sorry. And I feel those women might be taking those stressful moments, those those times that were hard, and they're eating off of that, and they're going to say, this is when she was disrespectful to me. This is when she was rude. This is when she did this. This is how she treated me. And overnight, the third plaintiff. Uh-uh. up and said something to you, you fucking lucky I don't beat your ass. Well, what the fuck did you do to make her say, oh, you lucky I don't beat your ass? Okay. Like, what is going on? Like, it's like, like people who do business, like, I, well, I can only speak for myself. I'm never the first to just be like, uh, bitch, it's da 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 da. No, I'm never the first. You had to really do something to me for me to show my ass. I'm that type of person. If I show my ass, it's for a reason. You done done something to me. People want to make their sales look good. I've never Surprise! been a type to let me just show my ass when I raise. No, 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 no. You do something to me, it's for a Hi. reason. <laughs> Hi. What's up? It's Ariana Davis from season one of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. I know you're probably thinking, why is she here? What is she doing auditioning for season two? The short answer is I'm a singer. <laughs> and I just want to share that part of me with y'all. I know I've been on tour. I've been working with Lizzo for, for uh, some months, maybe close to a year now. And um, it's been so amazing and such a beautiful journey. And she's probably gonna be like, girl, what are you doing? But anyway, I figured though I might as well shoot my shot. I mean, I don't think she knows that I can sing. And the biggest thing about me is that I always say this, but dance is my first love and music is my passion. And if I was to be chosen for the cast of season two of Watch Out for the Big Girls, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just think that it would mean the world to me to share. When you come into things acting like a fan too, like when you come in being a fan, like if one, if y'all really love me, don't want to meet me. You're not going to get the same perception you think you're going to get from me. Not because of me, because I'm the same fucking person. But you're going to feel like you should be treated a different way. It, it, shit is just, it's ugly. My voice. I, I I've my learned voice so many lessons, and I'm so happy for that. Has gone quiet for too long. And I think that I have a story that people need to hear because I think they can relate to it and I think it can help change lives and know. you know Most do what Lizzo's doing I I look up to her they so much and with anybody. I just want to follow in her On footsteps 50, 50, and would, not only be, be true, an amazing but dancer but like be an amazing singer and storyteller I love like to write music she fired I love to sing and I just want to share that with the queen Lizzo herself yeah um Choose me to be part of the singing group. I know I'm already a dancer, but exactly, Shonda. I can sing too, so. Girl, I smell live. I'm... Okay, hold on, y'all, cause y'all know I got a peach. Yeah. I just smell live. I smell. They got fired. They left. Whatever, and now they're upset. So now they're like, "Look, we're gonna take this motherfucker down." And that's that's just what I feel. I feel these are hurt people who got left. And that's what people do. Who got fired. And they they are just upset. I I, I just don't know. I, I I don't I don't know. Tell me what y'all in the comments. I can't speak too much on it because I haven't really went and read all the lawsuits and the things like that. But I'm just only going off. So they suing her? I've seen off social media. That's something crazy. just ain't sitting right with me, and I just something ain't sitting right. I, it just ain't sitting right. But anyway, if it ain't about me, let's keep keep next case. Okay. Next one, ducket. We have. Kai. So we all seen it. Kai was doing a giveaway. Now I remember people saying on his live, Kai really they dropped her from the Super Bowl show. That's crazy. Expected it to be like 500 to 800 people. Boy, you know good and damn well. You are the top broadcaster that is black that has a huge following. Where you thought only 500 people were gonna show up for you? Right. I don't know. Uh, that that's just that's crazy to me when you have all these people in your lives. That's only my uh that's another reason why I feel indifferent with Kai's situation because like, bro, you're Kai. You're not 
Like him, especially him saying that he was gonna give away a bunch of PCs and Xboxes and PS5s, nigga. You would have had that whole truck should have been full. Now I just say full. That whole truck should have been full. They they had the bottom of the truck full of uh PCs and and uh Xboxes and PS5s. That ain't enough for you, Kai. Like nah. Every day, he made a mistake. All the time. <laughs> He goes out there, he was giving away, you know, PS5s, computers, um, monitors, things like that, and uh, which is an amazing thing to do. Shout out to him for that, first of all. Because a lot of people get up there and they forget where they come from, forget people, and they don't give back. And that's why he's gonna continue to get blessed because that's just amazing. So right. as he gets out there, it turns into chaos. <laughs> Yeah, to get started on somebody's car is crazy. But the thing is, all these people want to be Kai. That's the problem. Everybody wants to be Kai. So they wanted to go viral in this moment. But to break the car, that just didn't make sense. They violated, bro. Why they do that to him? Yo, the jet old man is crazy. <laughs> Oh my God. Now I'm not saying it's 100% his fault, but I would give it 50 50 because you being the influencer, you knowing that you have this following, your team should have got together and said, hey, we need to have some authority out there. Did we go with the city and, and did we let the city know that we were going to do this event? Because you just never know. It's too much violence nowadays, killing, crazy stuff. So you just want to be prepared because your name is attached to this. And if anyone would have lost their life or anyone would have done anything out there, it's going to always fall back on you because you orchestrated this event. Not saying you are in charge and can control these people, these but if you have authority who is there to control these people, then now it shows that you went the, you took the proper avenues to make sure nothing like this would have happened. Are you going to charge Kai Sinai? Yes. The, the influence is charged. He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts. Tired of his and ass. It's just like, woo, but y'all know how that shit go. I hate it. It is what it is. That's why I say if people want to have change, then we can start teaching our kids to be politicians and judges and lawmakers and things like that instead of just everybody want to rap and be singers, you know? So therefore, we have voices on things that can matter. Not saying rapping stuff don't matter, but get our people in there. He has to do love his supporters. Three, three, three so, in the um, chat. Yeah. He does. All right. If it ain't about me, let's be keep this. Hey. Next one, Ducky. We got Montgomery versus the Lab Folks. <laughs> <laughs> they learned today. Our ancestors are happy. Okay, so I can't put this on my channel because any channel I got, girl, it's going to go wrong. Oh, so he ain't showing the fight. Okay. Oh, but it's music to it. Ninja Avengers. <laughs> Aqua nigga. I can't even have nigga on my screen, y'all. <laughs> like y'all did back in the day, people are getting tired. It's they got hot outside. On sale. It's 100 and something degrees. And y'all want to come out here fucking with somebody when they own their job. Let the person do their damn job. And if y'all are sitting here want to jump this man, and you thought that folks were going to sit around and let y'all jump this man, Oh, bitch, you had a rude awakening for you, baby. Uh -huh. Black women do that hit, that hit. Oh, I knew, I knew shit was about to. <laughs> Child, him throwing that hat was crazy like that. I what? Like, I got, I, yo, I can't put this on my channel. Zoe channel might not have gotten, you know, nothing might have happened to his channel, but it'll happen to mine, child. 
then switch hands and went to wallow on his ass. What? 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 Is she? I bet. <laughs> Look, what I have to say about it, though. My nigga Danny would have loved it. And I'm getting to put on a shirt for sure. <laughs> Good girl, when it's time to, we gonna learn today. We gonna learn today. When they say Wakanda, show, show them who, show them who you are. <laughs> <laughs> well... I ain't got time. Because I, mean, I don't want people to think that we like violence. I don't like violence. I don't condone violence. But they started it and the community finished it. Period. It ain't about me. Let's get in it. Hey. Listen, all in all, I'm happy that we could stand up for one another. Do you hear me? When I seen them coming down that ramp, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's about to be some shit. Child, when I seen them coming down that ramp, also with their shirts off, I knew it was a wrap. It was a wrap. Went crazy. Next one, I said we have Blueface and Chris Brown. Now, y'all, I'll make this quick because I'm, I'm tired of it. We already know how this going to play. She fussed about him, she go back with him. She fussed about him, she go back with him. So what, what happened last night? Okay, so the same day y'all flexing all this other shit. Okay. I don't follow what blue. I don't, I don't keep up with none of the shit he do. He called my phone talking about, so what's up? What's up? What's up? Right? The bitch is in the background. Like, are you really on the phone with her? He like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Long story I short, my nigga. I, I swear, I this is this is why I be putting Hello. scenarios like I'm ready to get it in beat that the fuck. Like I'm ready to get get locked up because I'm ready to beat the fuck out of anybody. Like real shit. So, I don't even know if I should. Pause I'm saying, all, like, we only cool because I ain't see this shit last night. So, last night, bro calling me to come get his ass. Like, what? All right, I came and got him because they get into it. I, I pull up, right? Because I'm looking at both of the ends of the street. I can't find him. I'm like, all right, his phone did. She, I beeped the car. The car, I'm in a black truck, tenant car. I beeped the car. Like, beep, beep. My friend, she come outside, start banging. Like, she kept saying on the schoolyard crib, da da. I said, bitch, where your baby father at? He called me to tell me, he told me to come pick him up. So he ain't go back in the house. Copy. So she like, what? So she get the, get out the car, get out the car. You know, I'm not with Marsh. You know how Marsh was. Okay, you know Marsh how Marsh is. is. I, I put up with my dog and Jay. So I'm like, uh. Then I'm in a, a car, I'm like, yeah, this this nigga gonna leave as soon as we get the ghetto shit going on. I'm be straight in, in Santa Clarita. So I'm like, Krishan, you pregnant? It's cool. So I start laughing for real. So I start, I said, so you don't know where your baby father at? So then I put, he like, he like, ayo, I'm staying blue, like yelling out the window. Now I'm following his, his voice. So the bitch start chasing after my truck. <laughs> I get out the car, I look back, start laughing at the bitch like, why the fuck is you chasing the truck? Like, so what you don't understand is whenever Blue mad at her, he come to you. Whenever he mad at you, he go to her. So really, both of y'all are dumb in the that. All three of y'all dumb is in the situation. She understand that. She know exactly. Like this, when he don't like. Krishan know exactly what the hell going on. And then when he don't like you, he don't like her. And it's just a whole lot of, whole lot of going on. And both of y'all need to just realize that. And then you asking for a car, he go buy the girl the car you want. All right, all right. Y'all know we done already reacted to all, all this. Right. Are you ready? No, I'm scared. All right, all right. Can you see? Yeah, I can see now. What is this? Here's the car. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Not, we're not lying. This is a key. Shut up, babe. What do you think? I think you're cat. Shut, Shut up, babe. I wouldn't babe. lie to you, girl. Babe, what the <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to watch this again. Okay. Hey, baby, and you let him play in your face. So then, after you do all that bragging about going over there to go pick him up, this and that, and woo woo woo, and then you in the bed with him, girl, this man goes and tells her that she needs to beat your ass while you pregnant with his baby. 
Jesus. Oh, she pregnant. What about her? Her friend? Wait, her friend just, not pregnant though. Not her friend. She just was in the club. Yeah. What are you yeah, talking about? She like, socked, I don't know the bitch. She done like, socked about. She done socked about five bitches pregnant. You know, but you know, I. I, 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 I Babe. I don't know. Y'all, we ain't even got to go down the line of this. I've already reacted to it for those that have not seen it. Um, it's on my, on this channel. How I feel. He, it's all of And then uh, her, and that, the, them titties uh, out. Got my I ain't shit. believe in shit she say until I see she don't talk to that man for, it gotta be like a year. I know he her baby dad or whatever, so she gonna have to see him. But I mean like that lovey-dovey shit. She need to... When she removed them tattoos, I take her serious. When she removed them tattoos, I will take her serious. Because, girl, uh-uh. Met him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. These titties got me in some shit. <laughs> of what's going on? You've changed, girl. You've changed. Y'all, she gonna be laid back up with this man in two weeks. I give it two weeks max. She gonna be laid that up this man. Y'all let this woman fool y'all every time. I ain't falling for it no more. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. All right. Well, I wish the baby luck. Okay. <laughs> you, what the fuck? If it ain't about me, let's keep you this cake. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. Um, the Krishana blue face thing. We react to that all day, every day. Uh, Krishan and her, that one bra she used, child, got my shit age restricted, so I ain't even finna play with her. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.